Hi guys, welcome back to our video again. So today we want to test this Vespa GTS 300T. Basically it stands for technology. So it's pretty much similar as compared to the GTS that we have tested on the video previously. So we put a link here, you can go and check it out. However, the bike we just got it, so it's a little bit dirty. So we are going to wash it and then we do a test drive. What happened just now was I left the key inside the seat and now I have to go back to the dealership to collect the spare key. So now we are back with the key and we are now retrieved the inner key inside. And it's inside, so we are really stupid. So lesson learned, check before you close, just don't throw everything here. First off, let us look at what's visually changed. So we can clearly see the headlight has become LED. Same as goes to the brake light. You can also see some racing element like the racing stripes around. The radiator grille has become a honeycomb design. And it's equipped with HPE. It stands for High Performance Engine. So it changes the cam profile to produce more horsepower and torque to this engine. You can clearly feel the difference in terms of the pickup and the acceleration. The response are more quick and instant and the acceleration is smoother. It also produces a higher top end speed. However, it's not that much. I reckon it's more about 10 more kilometers per hour. The setup is more comfortable as compared to the previous generation. It's slightly softer for the rider side. And here's the high-tech part. So you have this uh, transpondent, which has four buttons. This is to unlock the seat. The seat. This is to... No idea what's that. Okay, this is the flasher. So it comes with a full color TFT display and a four directional joystick that you can control. And there's a lot of information being displayed on the dashboard itself. You will see your fuel gauge, your battery, fuel consumption, odometer, your trip meters, your average pace, etc. etc. Once you enter the settings menu, you, you can connect the Vespa smartphone app via Bluetooth with your Vespa display. And on the app itself, you basically are allowed to do navigation, track your devices, and even playback multimedia with your intercom or your Bluetooth headset. You can use the joysticks to skip the music, pause the music, pick up calls, hang up calls, etc. And the system will also prompt you if you are exceeding the speed limit or you went to the wrong route with some beeping sound in your intercom or headset. So it's basically like a replacing your smartphone with the display itself or integrating your smartphone into the display itself. The app also records the statistic of your past journey. So it shows you like the trip, the map and also the behavior of your throttle control and some engine performance etc which you can track back. It also has this like social media feed where you can share your trip or journey in the app with other riders. With all the cool parts done, so now we want to talk about the not so cool part. First off is the redesign mirror. It's smaller so the field of vision is smaller as well. Blind spot zone is larger so you really have to check your blind spot. Because the mirror now is shorter, so it's a bit harder for you to hang your helmet on it. So it feels like constantly it's going to drop anytime. The brake is quite weak for high speed stopping, even on the previous generation. Although they have increased the horsepower at top, but the braking system is still the same. So you are always fearful when you are jamming the brake at high speed. We also need to understand that new technology are usually quite unstable. So the TFT display, the app and the Bluetooth connectivity is hard to connect. It constantly gets break off or it just idle there. Second is the menu is not very intuitive. You need some time to understand it and pair it. And the screen is very glaring under sunlight. So you really can't see a lot with that reflection on top of it. It sort of like defeat the purpose of having that screen with the navigation system. And we also want to talk about the navigation. The navigation is unusable in CT. It's very slow in detecting your location. So it becomes very slow in terms of giving you the right direction. It basically just hangs there when you are doing CT trip. It's perfectly okay on the highway. So constantly you will get lost. Something like what you see in this map. 
if we follow the direction so you'll be just wandering all around I guess you'll be better off using your own phone mount with your Google map or your Waze on it rather than relying on this display other than the technology part where we felt that it's a little bit gimmicky rather than reliable and useful the HPE engine is really highlight of the day it totally changed the dynamics of this Vespa GTS 300 I would say that if I was going to purchase this GTS 300 I will go for just the HPE without the super tech it will be all you need and you don't really need to spend on something that is not really reliable or useful alright thank you guys for watching this video see you on our next video bye bye